everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be on topic episode 17. So if you are new to my channel, my on topic episodes are where I talk about book, TV, and movie news that I'm excited about and that I want to share with you guys. And I leave all of the information, every single link is down below. And I leave the timestamps for each topic that I talk about. So I'm going to start with the books as always. So we have a couple of cover reveals and then a couple of just book announcements. For cover reveals, we have a cover of Aurora Rose Reynolds's new book, uh, which will be out February 2020, and it is called The Wrong Slash Right Man. Then we have the cover of The Heart Principle by Helen Huang. This is book three in the Kiss Quotient series. I don't even know what the series is called. <laughs> I'm like totally blanking on the series, but this will be out in May 2020. I love this cover. Love the pink. Super cute. Then we have a cover of Favor for a Favor by Helena Hunting. This is book two in the A Lie for a Lie series, and this is out in January 2020. And this is a hockey romance. I'm really excited for this one. And then we have a cover of Rage and Ruin by Jennifer L. Armitrout. This is book two in the Harbinger series. This is like a YA fantasy, paranormal. This comes out in June 2020. I love the cover, it's super pretty. Then we have a cover of Seasons of the Storm by El Cosimano. Cosimano? I think that's how you say her last name. This is a YA fantasy and this is out in June 2020. I have read two of her other books and really, really enjoyed them. This I think is about seasons or people who are seasons and they try to like kill each other but two of the seasons fall in love or something. It sounds super interesting, super different. And I'm definitely curious for this one. And the last cover reveal is The Midnight Lie by Marie Rutkowski. This cover is so pretty. I absolutely love it. This is a white fantasy and this is out in March 2020. And then we just have two book announcements. So the first one is that R.S. Gray is writing a new book and that is called His Royal Highness and this will be out in early November. The cover I think is supposed to come out towards the end of October but I'm really excited for this. I don't have no idea what it's about, but I love R.S. Gray and I can't wait to read a new book of hers. And Abby Glines announced a new book as well called Charmed Souls. I don't know what the genre is. It's probably a romance of some sort. I don't know if it's YA. I don't know if it's like new adult. Maybe it might be paranormal. I don't know. I feel like Charmed Souls definitely sounds like something paranormal, but I'm not really sure. It's supposed to come out in fall, so I'm assuming probably in November, so we'll see. But I'm excited for this one, even though I have no idea what it's about. So that is it for the bookish news. Now on to TV news. There's a good amount of TV related news. First one I'm going to quickly talk about is A Discovery of Witches. So they are still currently filming in season two, and there has been like a few behind the scene photos, but nothing major. There hasn't been any more casting announcements nor any like new stills or anything like that but we did get a photo of Gallo Glass. I think the actors Stephen or Steve Cree something like that I think that's what his name is I can't remember but he is all done up as Gallo Glass. He looks fantastic. I'm very 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 excited for season two of Discovery of Witches. I can't wait like I'm so excited for season two. I just think it's gonna be phenomenal and I'm I'm so thrilled and excited. I cannot wait. Next we have TV news about the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It is becoming a TV show on Freeform. Jennifer Beals is attached to help produce and create the show. No official like announcements on casting or anything like that but it's gonna be a TV show on Freeform which I'm nervous about because I love this book. This book is amazing. It just doesn't seem like something that would be on Freeform to be honest, like I feel like this would have been something that you would see on HBO or Stars or Showtime or something. Like it just doesn't feel like something that would be on Freeform. Freeform I still feel like is very young. Like I feel like it's still a young audience. So I don't know, but I am curious about this becoming a TV show. It's very early on, obviously. So there's no casting or anything like that. I think they're just like adapting it right now and figuring stuff out. But I don't know. I'm very hesitant because I love this book. But we'll see. Let me know your thoughts 
on this becoming a TV show in free form. I also can't imagine anybody playing Evelyn. I'll keep you guys updated on the adaptation, but um, I'm very hesitant about this one. And then we have the casting for the Shadow and Bone TV show on Netflix. Um, Shadow and Bone and Six of Crows. If you didn't know, it's becoming a TV show on Netflix for eight episodes. And they finally revealed all of the casting for all the characters. Although I do believe there's going to be a second round of casting. Um, there have been a few rumors for other cast, but I don't really know. Anyways, I'm just going to talk about the actual cast that we got so far. Freddie Carter will be playing Kaz. Jesse Miley as Alina. I'm so sorry if I butcher these names. I'm so sorry. Um, Archie Renault as Mal. Amita Suman as Inej. And Kit Young as Jesper and Ben Barnes as General Kurgan, 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 who is also known as the Darkling. I'm in love with this cast. I think it's a great cast. I'm very, very excited. I'm not a huge fan of the books. Um, I read all of the books, but I'm not a huge fan. Like I do feel like they're a little overhyped. But I do think it's going to make a fantastic TV show, especially on Netflix. I definitely think they're going to nail it. And I am very excited. The casting looks very promising, very great. I'm excited. It's definitely making me more excited. And like there has been a couple of cast photos and like photos of the cast all together. And it seems like they get along really, really well, which is definitely making me really excited to watch the TV show because I, I didn't really care about it, to be honest. But I'm now definitely, like, very curious about the TV show. They are currently filming right now. They have started filming already, uh, which is great. And supposedly there is going to be another round of casting announcements. Obviously, this was just round one. They also haven't announced Nina, nor Matias. Is that how you say his name? A few that they still have to cast, unless they're not going to write them in. I don't really know. But it would be weird if they didn't have, like, Nina and the rest of the dreads. You know, there is rumors for other casting. If you look on IMDb and you go and like see more cast or whatever, there's like four other names on there, but they haven't been officially announced. So it's probably rumored, but like, who knows? So we have, oh gosh, I cannot say her name, but I'll put a picture here. She apparently will be playing Zoya. I think that's how you pronounce the character's name. It's been so long since I've read Shadow and Bone. I have read this back before the third book came out, so it's been a really long time. Danielle Galina as Nina, Daisy Head as Genya. I'm happy this TV show is coming out so I can finally learn how to pronounce some of these names. And then we have Simon Sears as Yvonne. So those ones are just rumored, I don't know if they're official, but I feel like... They might be official because they are on the IMDb page. But let me know your thoughts on the actual official casting and I guess maybe what scenes you hope to see in season one. I think season one will cover probably the first book or the first book in the Grisha trilogy. I am so curious to see how they're actually going to mix the Grisha trilogy and then the Six of Crows duology. I'm so curious how they're gonna mix it together. It's gonna be so weird because the timelines are so different. I'm, I'm excited to see how they put it all together. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a fantastic show and I'm very excited. I think the casting looks great. Let me know all of your thoughts and uh, I'm sure we're gonna see the show in like late 2020, so. Very, very excited for this. So that is it for TV show news. Now on to movie news. So all of the movie news that I have is surrounding Passion Flicks. Passion Flicks has finally been getting it together. They're announcing more adaptations. They're announcing more things that they're doing, which is really, really exciting. They have announced that they have bought the rights for The Secret Life of Amy Benson, the series by Lisa Renee Jones. The first book is Escaping Reality. I haven't read these books. I have read a few of Lisa Renee Jones's books and I have enjoyed them, but um, I'm definitely curious about this one. We'll see. I don't even know what the book is about. I'm excited they've announced another adaptation. They have announced that they have finished the script for Resisting Roots by Audrey 
Carlin, which I think is a sports romance. I have yet to read the book as well, but I'll probably read it for my Passion Flick series, but that's another one that they have in the works soon. They have also announced that they have bought the rights for Seduction and Snacks by Tara Civic. I read this book years and years ago. I actually read the whole series. It's been a really, really long time. I definitely can see this becoming like a movie or TV show in Passion Flicks. I think they're going to do a really great job. And I'll definitely end up rereading the book whenever they get around to adapting it, but that's great news. And they've also announced that they have finished filming The Will. I'm assuming the adaptation will be out in February or March, just based on like the timeline. I think they're going to release it for maybe Valentine's time, which is exciting. Yeah, I'm glad that they're done that one. And yeah, they're about to film Gabriel's Inferno soon. Still no casting on that. Maybe by the time this video goes up, there might be. I'm secretly hoping there's not any announcements because then I won't include it in this video. But yeah, that they're supposed to film very soon. I know that they were scouting locations in Italy. Passion Flix is finally getting it together. And I'm really excited because, you know, now I get to watch the adaptations and read the books and do my videos, which I love doing, so... It's all great. So that is it for this on topic video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know there wasn't a lot of news. I feel like with the year slowly ending, I feel like there becomes less and less news for some reason. Because there's always like periods in the year where there's like a lot of stuff that's announced. And I just feel like in September, there wasn't anything really announced, which is weird. But let me know your thoughts on everything that I talked about. And if there is any exciting book, TV, or movie news that you want to share with me, go ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!